Welcome to Mathematics with Ams. Uh, today's lesson is grade 11 exponents. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Thirds. When a root is irrational, it is referred to as a third. In other words, a third is the root of a number that cannot be determined exactly. Thus, square root of 2, square root of 5, cube root of 30 are thirds. You can try this on the calculator and you will notice the answers will be non-terminating decimals. But square root 4, square root 36, cube root of 27, they are not because you can determine them exactly. So there are two third laws. And of course, A must be greater than 0, B must be greater than 0, and of course, N must be greater or equals to 2. And N, of course, is a natural number. Look at the first law, which is called the multiplicative law. If you multiply two thirds and they are of the same type, then you can write A and B under the same third. Or you can reverse the law. The same with division. If you have the same type of third, in a fractional form, it can be rewritten under the same third, or we can reverse the law. Let's look at the first example A. If we have square root of 2 times square root of 3, so it's the same type of third, third so therefore, therefore it can be written as a square root of 2 times 3, which is 6. And remember, you can also reverse the square root of 6. By splitting it up into 2 times 3, which of course is square root 2 times square root 3. Look at B, square root 3 times square root 3 is a square root of 9, which of course is 3. So take note, square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. That's important. Then square root of 4 to the power 2 means square root 4 times square root 4, which of course is the square root of 16, which is 4. So again, take note, square root 4 times square root 4 is 4. E. Cube root of 16 over cube root of 2 can be written as a cube root of 16 over 2, which is a cube root of 8, which is 2. So from the examples above, oh sorry, yeah, from the examples above, it's important to notice that the square root of a to the power 2 is basically a. Right. If you look at f, we first go to d, square root 27 or square root 3 is the square root of 27 over 3, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. Then f, 5 times the, cube, the square root of 3, all squared. Take note, 5 is outside the bracket, so it is 5 times 5, which is 25. And then square root 3 times square root 3 is 3, which gives you then 75. Let's look at the next examples. Square root, uh, 5 times the square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 3 minus 3 times the square root of 3. So they serve like like terms, like 5x plus 2x minus 3x. So therefore, you know that you can add or subtract like terms. So the same here, you can add and subtract like thirds. So 5 minus 5 plus 2 is 7, minus 3 is 4 times square root 3. Also check this on the calculator to make double sure. B, square root 7, plus 2 times square root 7, minus 6 times square root 7. So there you are, 1 square root 7 plus 2 gives you 3 square root 7, minus 3 gives you minus 3 square root 7. Again, check this one on the calculator. Cube root of 5 plus 5 times the cube root of 5, minus 2 times the cube root of 5. The same here, 1 cube root of 5, plus 5 gives you 6, minus 2 gives you 4, cube root of 5. Let's look at the next example. Write in simpler search form and simplify without using a calculator. Square root of 18, we can split as square root of 9 times 2. Take note, 9 is rational. 2 is irrational. Then, of course, the square root of 9 is 3. Again, check this also on the calculator. Number 2, square root of 8 is square root of 4 times 2, which is square root 4 times square root 2, which is 2 times square root 2. Check it out on the calculator. Cube root of 54 is 27 times 2. Cube root of 27 is, of course, is 3. Cube root of 2 is the cube root of 2. Also, check this one out on the calculator. Next example, square root 12 
plus 4 times square root of 75. You must write this in the simplest third form. So 12 is then 4 times 3. 75 is 25 times 3. So square root 4 times square root 3. Square, uh, of course, 5 times square root 3. So there you are. 4 times 5 is 20 in the second term. So the, again, like search, 2 plus 20 gives you 22 square root 3s. Next one, number 2, 2 plus q, uh, 3 times square root 2 to the power of 2. So again, you have to, remember this is in algebra, we have what we call a perfect square. So remember how to solve that. You can either use the distributive law and then get remove the brackets, then group your like terms. And then, of course, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times the other 3 is also 6. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Take note. Then 6 square root 2 plus 6 square root 2 is 12 square root 2. So there you are. 4 plus 18 is 22 plus 12 times square root of 2. Look at the next example, number 3. Square root of 48 is, of course, 16 times 3. 27 is 9 times 3. So therefore, 4 times square root 3, and the bottom one is 3 times square root 3. All three of them are like terms. So 4 square root 3 minus 1 square root 3 is 3 square root 3, divided by 3 square root 3 is 1. Number 4, 4 times 4x to the power 9 will be 4 times square root, square root of 4 times square root of x to the power 9. So square root of 4 is 2. Right, take note of that. And then, of course, x to the power 9, we can split as x to the power 8 times x. And then 16 is, of course, is square root of 16 times square root of x to the power 9. Square root of 16 is 4. Then again, we can split 8, x to the power 9 as x to the power 8 times x. Then the next step, we subtract. Because they are like terms. And, of course, square root of 8 is the square root of the square root of 8 is x to the power 4, and the square root of x to the power 8, the other one is also x to the power of 4. Remember, x to the power 4 times x to the power 4 is x to the power of 8. Then we have like thirds, 2x to the power 4 minus 4x to the power 4 is negative 2x to the power 4, and then of course the x squares will cancel, and the answer is minus 2x to the power 4. Or alternatively, you can use the irrational exponents. Take note that 2 to the power x is 9 over 2. That's the square root, remember. And the same with the other one, 9 over 2. And the bottom exponent are half. So you can also use that approach to get the same answer. Again, people, check this out using a calculator. Then I have a, a, an exercise for you. Again, very important. You need to work through all the examples because remember, practice makes perfect. Uh, this is Ahmed Suleiman from uh, Mathematics with Ms. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.